to fly if I have wings. Since I don't, I love to capture the illusion of wings in my accessories. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the earring and the headband. There's something magical about a pair of wings. Materials and tools Feathers Craft felts Headband Fish hook ear wire Jump rings Jewelry pliers Scissors Hot glue gun Or glue when you pick your feather, make sure the ends of the feather are big enough to be trimmed and you can use different color. Cut a desirable wing shape. The size of this wing will determine how big the earrings will be. You will need two of the identical shape. Have your feathers ready? Cut where the after feathers begin and cut the small piece from the after feathers. Trim the first feather to create a miniature sized feather. Do the same to the second cut feather, but cut it in a semicircle shape. Use sticky tape to clean loose feather. Cut plenty feather before proceeding to the next step. Place a strip of glue on the felt. You want to cover your feather to the felt completely and exceed the edges of the felt. Place your second feather accordingly to the first. Now place the third feather accordingly to the second feather. Make sure the bottom tip of the wings line up properly. Dab some glue on the upper part of the wing and place the small after feather on top. You can place as many as you want on top to see what fits. I usually use about 4 after feathers. When you're done, you can flip the wings over and proceed the same steps on the opposite sides of the wing. Of course, if you are content with just covering one side of the wings, you can leave the opposite side blank. Now trim the edges to give it a more clean finish. Make sure you have two wings, one for each ear. Poke a small hole through the upper part of the wings, make sure it goes through the felt, and loop the jump ring to the hole, closing it by two pliers. Open the ear wire and loop it to the jump ring. And closing the ear wire by using a plier. There you have it, a pair of angel wings earring. On to the headband. Position two of the felt wing on top of another felt. Organize your felt wings as if that's the way how you want it to look like on top of your headband. Cut following the wing felt outline. This is gonna be the backing support of the headband so it does not have to be perfect. When you finish, it should look like this. For the headband, you only need one side with the feather and the other side with felt. Place the wings on the table with the felt sides facing up. Of course, you can use any kind of headband. I like to use the pearl to give it a more elegant finish. Position how you want your wings to look and lay the band on top. Well, this part, you can either use glue or hot glue gun. If I had to pick between the two, I'd rather use the hot glue gun. It dries quickly and it's easy to work with. This part is really optional. You can add a small charm in the center. Now loop the beads back to the headband. Dab some glue on the end of the headband and insert the teardrop pearl to secure the end. Do the same to the opposite side. Make sure to let it dry completely and is ready to be worn. 
If you have friends that love swings, this would be a perfect gift. Besides the headband, you can also make a choker. Since feather is so popular right now, you cannot go wrong with this earring. It's fun and inexpensive to make, and a lovely little gift to give. Thank you.